in the realm of death and blood that is the entity's realm. And there are some survivors and killers that are above the average. You hardly see them, but when you do, it can either be a blessing for you or a curse. These are the legends of Dead by Daylight. Sybil Bennett, the courageous officer. When Sybil was a little girl, her parents were murdered by an unidentified man. Sybil, who was hiding in a closet at the time, looked through the closet's crack and witnessed her parents being shot in their heads. This incident largely impacted her future, which was her main influence in her eventual career path as a police officer. In time, Sybil became a police officer in Brahams, Maine, a town neighboring Silent Hill. She is sent to Silent Hill to investigate her precinct's lack of communication with the Silent Hill police it is unwittingly drawn into its strange world. Riding on a motorcycle, Sybil notices a man driving by with his daughter. But then... When Sybil came to, she entered the cafe to get out of the snow and found the same man she saw while driving on that road. Sybil can't find any logical explanation as to what has happened to the town, but feels that something is wrong. The man, who has introduced himself as Harry, is the only person she has seen in the town, and all communication devices are dead. Harry tells Sybil that he had a handgun and knows how to use it, but probably dropped it in the alleyway. Because of the alarming nature of the situation, Sybil gives Harry an extra gun she found and tells him to be careful with it before departing. Much later, Sybil sees Harry and follows him into the Green Lion Antique Shop. Here, she explains that the police were investigating the flow of drugs in Silent Hill, which she attributes all the strange things transpiring. She seems resistant to Harry's talk of demons and the occult. Sybil and Harry lose contact shortly after. In time, Sybil crosses paths with Harry again. This time, he insists that something serious is going on. Sybil is still reluctant to believe Harry, despite this time having seen the fog and snow turn to darkness and rain. Left with no other option, Harry and Sybil decide to split up and look for Harry's daughter, Cheryl. Harry leaves to investigate the lighthouse, while Sybil heads to the Lakeside Amusement Park. Sybil learns the truth about Silent Hill too late. She fails to rendezvous with Harry on the boat, having been attacked by a parasite in the sewers. Harry's next encounter with her occurs in the Otherworld Amusement Park's merry-go-round. Having been infected by the same type of parasite that controls the doctors and nurses in the Alcamelia Hospital, Sybil draws her gun and attacks Harry. But Harry would not kill Sybil as he obtained something that would rid Sybil of the parasite's influence. He tossed it at her. Sybil falls to the ground, the parasite crawling out of her back, and Harry squishes the parasite onto his foot. Sybil and Harry have a conversation about Cheryl's origins. In nowhere, she corners Dahlia and Alessa Gillespie, but Dahlia's psychic energy shoves Sybil back and knocks her out. With Sybil incapacitated, Harry would have to face the god that Dahlia brought into the world on his own, but it would prove to be no match for him. After the god's defeat, Sybil awakens and follows Harry through the light, which transports them out of the other world in time. Sybil and Harry run through Silent Hill with the new baby in Harry's arms, and they disappear into the fog. As the sun sets, Harry and Sybil look over the new baby together. However, after everything that has happened, Sybil would have to report back to the police station. But she promised Harry that she would never tell what happened in this town, or put his name in the report. With a goodbye, Sybil got on her motorcycle and drove away. However, Sybil would never make it back to the station. What Sybil saw what Sybil experienced in Silent Hill changed her irreconcilably. And this made her a prime target for a creeping, all-consuming darkness.